Many of you are aware that uh, Dad has an abiding interest in uh, World War One aircraft. It is Rick is taking Dad for a ride in a biplane. Go today, make your daddy glad to have had such a lad. Tell your sweetheart not to pine, to be proud her boy's in line. Over there, over there, send the word, send the word over there. That the Yanks are coming, the Yanks are coming, the drum drum coming everywhere. So prepare, say a prayer, send the word, send the word If I'd known it was going to be this much fun, I would have been 90 sooner. <laughs> for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, with joy and the eye. Uh, managed to run it right into the toolbox. <laughs> and that 
was our introduction to the radio control <laughs> Just over the course of that quality time together, I really got to know Granddad on a whole new level, really got to understand his history, got to ask a lot of questions about Grandma, and I, that time together is just really precious to me, so thank you for always cutting out that time for me, Granddad, and I love you very much. Carl is also a, uh, a St. Louis Cardinals fan, probably most of you know, and I, you know, growing up in Cincinnati, I am a Reds fan, and so I keep trying to draw him over to the dark side uh, every year. The Reds are not helping me out this year. Uh, Carl, your very own Reds mug. You know, it's important to have strong uh, male uh, role models in your life, and Carl has been that for me, um, probably as most of you know, a man of incredible integrity. Um, he is who he is. Um, and also, you know, his love for Lori, that is just so strong and continues on even now, um, nine years after her death. And, um, and that's such, to me, such a testimony of their love for each other. And, and a, a, you know, in a way, a witness to all of us. And so, um, thank you, Paul, and happy birthday. Uh, Carl is the hit of the show when he brings over his, his airplane, and he's patient, uh, and generous and gracious with his time. We also got your brand new cap. Oh, <laughs> so, you, so you can get rid of that crummy old one. <laughs> oh, you're congratulations. So I wanted to be in the advanced placement history class, which is a pretty big stretch if you know if you know me and my knowledge of history, it's nowhere near what dad's is. But I had to write an essay to get into the class and he said, write it on who killed the Red Baron. <laughs> <laughs> and I got into the class. <laughs> so he's always been a wonderful advisor to me. You're the man I turn to whenever I have questions still as I'm driving home from work. I call Dad and ask him uh, for advice on how to handle a client or something. <laughs> so I just want to tell you, Dad, how much I love you and what a wonderful father you've been. And, and I appreciate it so much. I love it very much. He said, what's your take? And he said, what was the reason for that? Well, I, man, I was, I was on the spot. You know, <laughs> if you can't answer that when you're... <laughs>